my fault. I apologize. Hey, that is fine. <laughs> you can hear me okay? Yeah, I hear you good. You hear me? Yep. Okay. Awesome. You can see me okay and all that shit. Yes. Fantastic. Wonderful. So anyway, welcome back. Um, I know uh, there's lots on your mind and things like that, but uh, let's start off with a little bit of uh, talk about Deep South in general. How do you think it's going? Um, a lot of new faces I've been seeing, um, that sort of thing. What are you thinking? You know, it's been getting way better over the year. You know, uh, back in 2000 when COVID hit, I really thought the company itself was starting to get in the strive. But, honestly, yeah. COVID just killed it. So then it went to the uh, underground time. And, you know, a lot of people didn't like that, but we kept doing it. And, obviously, it kept the audience intrigued. But um, over the last few shows, sellout uh, crowds at all the shows. We got a new show in December. I think it's uh, December 2nd or 4th, one of the two. It's on a Friday night. And a new underground show coming as well. So Nice. Fantastic. Yeah, I, uh, I know one thing that, like, you guys never stopped. You know, no. like, like you said, like, it was never, there's never slow down. There's never, like, GCW stop bleeding. Like, not, there wasn't even a death match. Like, all kinds of shit like that. Everyone's picking up the pace now. But uh, now, do you think that's a, that's the fear of, like, you know, Deep South with Carnage Cup coming up? And you got TOD coming back with like a wicked lineup already. Like, do you think that's kind of scaring people back into like, oh shit, we gotta do something before you know we're the has -beens, You know, I I hope so. You know, I always, for the love of God, I push Kevin to his limits on like what we need to do. And obviously, you know, what I do in my matches, I push the limits all the time. But uh, you know, I'm glad CZW's back, honestly. I, and, you know, I've, I was never a CZW fan, honestly. I've watched a few of their shows, and that was it. But competition is always good. You know, uh, back in the day, everyone said that no one would ever dethrone CZW. And, obviously, uh, Brett Lauderdale's, uh, what is that? GCW. GCW yeah. pretty much dethroned them. And then everybody was like, GCW will never be dethroned. And now you got, you know... Uh, all those other ones, I don't want to mess up the abbreviations, but, you know, you got those other ones that are absolutely killing it every weekend. Yeah, like No Holds Barred, and you got The Pit, and yeah, all, all that crazy stuff. So, and it's not even like No Holds Barred is doing hardcore and deathmatch. That's all they're doing, too. So, that's like a big, like, that's a big smack in the face with the, the GCW right now, almost. Um, but again, like I said, their stuff is picking up, too. I've been watching their stuff now again, and it's just as good as it was before, you know. Um, so it's kind of crazy to see what's going on. A lot of crossing over, a lot of... They're in the UK right now. Yes. Like, all kinds of crazy shit, right? Yeah, I so, talk to uh, I talk to a uh, few fans in the UK every week. You know, like I talk to you every day. I talk to a few fans over there, and, uh, you know, they, they love it. Yeah, fuck yeah. And it's, it's not really a big, big thing yet over there. I know traditional is always big everywhere, but Deathmatch is kind of picking up everywhere. Australia, the UK, Canada, fucking the US, like everywhere. You yeah, know? and you know, you got so, Primos. Uh, Primos is slave to the Deathmatches this weekend. It's available on Fight TV, so make sure you order it. Oh, I ordered it. Everyone else ordered it too. I've been pushing it as well, actually. Um, I know, what do we got from Deep South? We got, uh, Mosh Pit Mike. Hardcore uh, Hillbilly. Hill, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Formerly Aiden well, Blackheart. Yeah, Aiden Blackheart, formerly, I guess. I don't know if he's with Deep South anymore, but. No, he's um, no longer with us, unfortunately, but, you know, I continue to support, support him as I do all my brothers. Oh, yeah. I fucking love Aiden Blackheart. He's a great guy. Um, yes. Yeah, so watch that. I, I mean, I've already got it. Now, who really owns that company? Is it that guy that, okay, is it that guy that was at Queen of the Death and got his ass kicked by, like, Mickey Knuckles, then he's got his ass kicked by 
Devin Moore and some other people. You know, I Same don't. Guy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the guy uh, himself, like visually and name wise. I have talked to him yeah. over the last few months, but like I couldn't put a name to the face on that. Okay. Yeah, I think it's him. Someone told me that before. I can't remember who. If it was actually like, uh, um, like a, a good source, I guess. <laughs> you know, or if the person was just high or drunk, or <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Anyway, but uh, definitely, I want to check that out. Um, also, right, XPW's so back. Uh, what's that? I said also XPW's back. So uh, you know, keep your XPW. eye on them. XPW. Yeah. They'll be in Jersey when? Next week? Is it this weekend or next weekend? This weekend, I think. It's either one or the other, but it's definitely soon because it's there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff over the next right two now. weekends. I know that. Yeah. And I know so, Kevin, a, Kevin's been rumoring bringing in a big name for the December show, but we just don't know who it's going to be yet. Because, oh, you know, we've had Necro... Uh, Necro at the one before this when obviously we have Chewy all the time. You know, Chewy's my favorite Mexican. Yes. And, yes, uh, indeed. I'm trying to think who else we had on that last one that was new. But, hell, I can't remember. Yeah, hopefully we see Hoodfoot again. Yeah, um, he'd be nice. He, he killed it awesome. at Carnage Cup. Oh, my God. Like that Carnage Cup. Man, I'm, I'm still talking about it. Like, <laughs> you know, it's going to be hard to top that Carnage Cup, really. You know, so. every year they say, you know, that something can't be topped every year. And, you know, for the longest time, that used to be our goal was to just purposely try to, uh, yeah. you know, top it. And, yeah, this year was something else. Like, this was actually, the first, of all the times that I've ever played with fire, this was the first time that I actually got, you know, really burnt. So... I, I, I got a scar, a nice little scar from this, uh, the, what was that, the spiral death match with Blaine Evans. Yeah, that thing, yeah, and you, you took a lot of explosions and yes. a lot of that kind of stuff, and I'm surprised you didn't lose, I'm surprised you didn't lose something, let alone get burnt, but, uh, you know, so that's, that's at least good that you didn't get severely hurt. And, and I mean, that is happens. also on the streaming app Tubi. If you have the streaming app Tubi, you can watch uh -huh. IW Deep South from there. They're supposed to be uploading some new shows, I think, including the Angel of Death tournament, because I Sick. had a tournament named after me, unlike some other people. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, yes, I, uh, I also have been watching on Tubi. So everyone, Tubi. Carnage Cup, uh, the, the newest Carnage Cup, Carnage Cup 12? Carnage Cup 12 oh. and December to Dismember. Yeah, really good shows. Um, I've watched them a couple times on Tubi myself, so yeah, everyone do that. Like, Tubi is free. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's know? free, so you get so, free shit. Yeah. And I do want so. to send a special shout out to the coolest wrestler that I know, Slack. He knows what's up. Schlack? Schlack. Schlack, okay. Is, is Schlack uh, maybe uh, joining up with uh, Deep South soon? or? You know, I'm not sure technically what he can do because of that whole XPW yeah. thing. I don't know what, you know, what the, what the, you know, the rules are, what they're doing with that because I know he's not, he's not being able to like go to other organizations, right? And I know, because yeah. I keep hearing people, people, you know, kind of trash him over that, which, you know, hey, he's a... A grown man don't need to worry about what another grown man is doing. It, it's true. So, um, you know, Schlack came to my defense before on multiple occasions when, you know, he, when he didn't have to. So, hey, leave Schlack alone because he can probably tear your fucking head off. Yeah. And he owes me a CD, but I won't get into that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we won't get into that. <laughs> but I myself am a big Schlack fan. Um... What he does in the ring is awesome and amazing and brutal. Um, and hey, his ring girl is a porn star, so that's pretty cool too. Yes. So I have to say that. That is pretty awesome. Um, so oh, yeah, other than that, what else we got here? Um, I'm seeing a lot of uh, talking from uh, my other brother, Brian, in here. Um, yeah, I guess.
guess we should get right into that kind of stuff because you guys got a heavy rivalry going on right now. Brian um, who? <laughs> Brian White, you know, tattoo. Oh, okay, wrestler. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that guy, you know. Um, the guy you've wrestled a little while ago. Um, yeah, uh, let's, let's, let's talk about this. Like, uh, I've seen this rivalry start, and it's gone from you know, a playful rivalry to you kind of, you guys kind of hate each other now. So, um, it, it's kind of fucked up to see two friends of mine actually getting into this. But again, leaving my shit out of, out of this whole thing, let's, uh, let's talk about this. What, what are you saying on this whole, I know you guys got a match coming up too soon. So well, let's talk a little bit about that. Well, see, the thing is, I, I actually challenged him to the rematch, and he declined. So, as of right now, we don't have a damn match. Uh, that Friday night on, uh, when is that, uh, December, the Friday night, I can't think of the damn date, um, I've got a yeah. match with uh, an old rivalry, or an old rival. Uh, he used to go by Magnum. I don't know what he's if he's still going by that now. This will be his first match in Alabama, and... Yeah. Forever, so I'm I'm actually wrestling him on that Friday night because uh, uh, Brandon denied declined my offer. So, oh my my my! Uh, so, uh, do you guys think it'll happen again? Like, I guess if you're saying he he denied your uh, your invitation, um, like what's what's going to happen with all this? You know, like. What'll probably oh, happen? Go? <laughs> he'll probably curtain jerk for the next year or so until he finds out he can't get another good opponent, and then he'll come crawling back. Um, I did also hear that he's in a tag team match with I'm not too sure who to tell you the honest truth, um, but is that's happening soon though? I hear so I guess you'll see him, but you're not in the, the same ring. That's him, I guess. That might be on. That Sound might like, be on that Friday night. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, um, it looks like Brian has something to say. So you know what? As these things, let's. Uh, oh, here we are. Well, alrighty then. That's a piece of shit, dude. Don't talk about Graham that way. I'm talking to you. I ain't. I'm oh. there talking to her. I couldn't tell which way your fucking eye was looking. You're such a piece of shit, dude. You, oh my God. you need <laughs> anger <laughs> management. Oh, hang on. You can your gimmick and whatever it be, whatever you want to be, then. But this, this, this be real. Go shoot style here, I guess you say. You're playing the victim card about mining your situation. And you want to play it like I'm a coward or something. You know. What's it going to take to shut you up, old man? I told you, I beat you. I beat you. I beat you in your own state. I beat you at your own game. So I'm going to move on to bigger and better things than IWA, and it ain't curtain you. But you can, you, know, you can carry my gear for me if you like. Did you even have gear at the last show, or did you have to get it from the other wrestlers? <laughs> no, let me make this crystal clear. I didn't have to do that. <laughs> You're not allowed to say crystal clear. That's Mr. Crystal's gimmick, so shut up, or he will beat your little white ass. I'm not doing gimmick. I'm not doing gimmick here, dude. I'm not your dude, I'm bro. Not, I'm not talking to, to I'm not talking to you with Brian White. I'm shooting. I'm Brian Cummings right now. I don't like you. I don't respect you. I beat you, and you're mad about it, and you're trying to stay relevant. So what do you do? You keep bringing my name up, bringing my name up, and bringing my name up, and bringing my name, and eventually I'm gonna throw your mouth shut. So the best thing for your safety and your health. Is to keep my name out your fucking mouth. That's all you got to do. I mean, I'll snap you like Will Smith or whatever. I don't give a fuck. Oh, my God. So, look, he declined my mouth. message. He declined my fight. So, how about this? I'll keep your name out of my mouth, but I, I want you to seek anger management before you Benoit your family. Oh, no. Hey, you're the only thing that pisses me off besides work. You're the only thing. He's roiding out, James. He's roiding out. You can tell. Oh my god! Did I hit um, hands too too hard at the last show or something? I mean, what? Are you 
getting seen out more and more seen out every day? Huh? Do I need to take the behind the shed and blow your brains out or something? Would that help? So you want to take me behind the shed and blow my brains out? Oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, I know it's 2020 and a lot of people have came out. That's fine. I accept you, Brian. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah. Fuck. He just stays a character and he wants to troll. He's just a fucking troll, dude. <laughs> man, oh, man. I'm trying to stay no. Is there anything that's going to happen that you guys can get over this? Like, maybe Carnage Cup fucking have some crazy ass match. I don't know. Like, kill him. <laughs> you know, like. There's probably two things that never go together Brian White and Carnage Cup. But, you know, we need. I mean, we need fucking uh, Kevin in here or something. Kevin, we need some fucking, like, matches here. Death match of some sort. We don't need the boss band for this. I'm talking him man to man. We ain't got to do that. I mean, hell, look. If you want me to come down there to Chicago, where the fucking days you at? I mean, we can we can go mono to mono in the gas station park lot, your place, whatever. Now, the last time I challenged you to a street right, fight in Chicago, you didn't show up. I had car problems. I even sent you the video of the car not cranking and everything, just to show you I wasn't fucking bullshit. You know, I'm not no, I'm not no South Carolina Gamecock technician, but all you got to do is like unplug one, uh, what do you call them damn thing? Like the plugs. That's all you got to do to do that, and I'm pretty sure you had somebody do that for you. You fucking prick. <laughs> oh man. There, this is what I'm talking about, James. This is what I told you in the message the other day. He plays this victim card, and then he wants to be all a little smart ass and everything. And then when he's confronted with a real man, he just he goes to the comedy to try to goddamn ease the tension so he don't get his ass kicked again. I told you he was going to do this whenever I talked to you about it the other day. I told you he would do this. Yep, it's true. You did. But, I mean... I've been telling it's, it's him to seek help. I've it's been hard trying. for me, guys, because you're both friends of mine, and this is kind of fucked up, because I know you hate each other. But, man... Yeah, something's got to happen here. See, this is the thing, though. (laughs) I love Brian, and I forgive him. He's just, he's in a bad place. That's the problem. Give me four. I haven't done nothing. You've hurt your ego and your pride for beating you. That's all. I can accept that, Brian. I can accept that. I just want you to accept anger management for your safety. (laughs) Oh my god, I'm about to get, I'm, I'm calling Kevin after this, I swear, I'm gonna get something set up just to shut your old ass up, Lord, I gotta do something. Call old oh, bitch, boy. <laughs> let me ignore this motherfucker, let me ignore this motherfucker over here. James, my, I'll be tag team with Blaine Evans that night, okay, yep. just so everybody knows. It's December nice. 4th, you jackass, remember that. And who are you gonna be wrestling against? Um, Circus of Chaos, um. I, I had the card written down earlier. I left it in there, but... Yeah. It's all good. I'll, I'll just start put out here in the group here soon. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, I wrote... Uh, I, yeah, this is fuck. Yeah. I know that you just... Fuck job, I don't know what to say. I don't fucking know what to say. <laughs> like... I just fuck John Rand. Well, if and, that's, and if I... If that's even your, really your real name... Everybody knows my shoot name. I told you, I'm coming at your shoot style. I'm not Brian White. I'm Brian Cummings. So, so John Rare, the, the angel of death, whatever the fuck you want to call yourself, dude. I mean, we can go. Whenever. Just say when. I'm your Huckleberry. I already... So now you want to fight. You declined me. Now you want it. I told you, Graham. He's begging already. What I said come to fruition. <laughs> I was at your show to support Chewy... And you called me out. You called me out saying I was a keyboard warrior. And I then, I beat you the same fucking night you called me out. I didn't see the match. That is facts, John. I, I haven't even seen the match that. yet. That was facts. <sighs> oh, man. It's all over everywhere. I've got it posted everywhere. I'll send you a reminder when we're done with this. I'll send it to your messages just to remind you. I beat you. <laughs> Christian, One, two, three. Christian beat Cross you. beat me. And where's he at now? <laughs> Filthy, 
Phil Payne beat me for like three years. Where's he at now? Huh? Man. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. What you need to do is smoke some of your damn weed. Smoke whatever it is that you smoke. You know, that that other group, you know, accused you of smoking some uh, r- pretty rough stuff. Uh, I remember that. I think I saved that, actually. <laughs> They're just mad, you know, they're just mad, that's all. Because they're sitting in the seats admiring, wishing they could do what I do, and they're not doing it. They can't, they ain't got the balls to step in that fucking ring and do what I do. And um, apparently you ain't got the test tickets of forward to, to face me again because you don't want your pride hurting. You know what? How does it feel knowing that your wife is ashamed of you? Well, pretty much my whole family is ashamed of me. I can accept it, but I need you to accept anger management. <laughs> You take them to the river, lake all the time, trying to make up for the sorry piece of shit that you are, and it doesn't help. Do you think now you think moving away is going to help? Y'all going to move away from the problem? Motherfucker, I'll find you. Talking about I mean, kids, if I ever see your fucking dog, I'm gonna punt the shit out of it. You're more welcome to try. Oh, I will, you're and welcome. you ain't gonna do shit. You'll probably look over at Sherry and be like, "Well, goddamn." Oh man. Ay, ay. You know, I, I hate you. I just, I hate you so much. <laughs> My bad. Like, I, I really do want to get in a match with you, like a death match. I don't want what we had, that, that little street fight we had, where you had to bury me on the chairs just because you were scared, you know what I mean? I want to know who the guy was that came over there and pretty much did a damn reach around under the damn chairs. Who was that? Was that one of your little cronies? Oh my god. Watch oh my go back and rewatch it. Oh man. I'm seeing I'm seeing some people upset. I'm seeing wish they would make up. <laughs> I'm See that's like, the thing. I, I've tried to make up with him since day one, you know. He he took my caring and loving nature to a bad Your heart. Charming. And, and then after that interview you we did, he's just been an asshole. You, you fucking trolled me on an interview that was about me. And what about you? We wasn't even talking about you. And you trolled it. Well, that, you You're know. You're respectful, dude. They you said they needed about- views, so I came in. <laughs> Your interview was the first interview that James Graham left mid-interview. Come on, dude. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh man! And it, and and Sherry's now mad at you too. You just made another enemy. So I was like, oh, she ain't so. like. Me. She's never liked me. What is there like about you? Everything. You Have you, you seen my stupid- YouTube channel? <laughs> You make these stupid ass videos on YouTube. I don't know how you get the views. I guess you make up bots or something, start liking shit or whatever. I don't know, but I don't know how you get views on it. I really don't. But you make some like Cemetery Road or whatever. That's some of the stupidest shit. What the fuck? White thing? Alabama white thing? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that, dude? That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. It has nothing to do with wrestling. You don't know, you don't have a clue how to wrestle. You're still a yard target. You never were properly trained, apparently. It shows. It shows. That's why Spider beat your ass. He took you on his wing because he felt sorry for your stupid ass, too. He made you... Your you had you had like one good match in the backyard, and you considered yourself the South Carolina. Oh man! Uh, the South Carolina legend backyarder. I didn't. I didn't call myself a legend. You did imagine that for itself. The SCBYWA. I mean, I was infamous. My hardcore infamous. I was in Light Bowl Massacre one and two. And I got up here to the Indies, and they didn't like Deathmatch at that time. Well, this, you know, this is my time to do what I want to fucking do. I've been a part of this business. This, I've been in it for 11 fucking years. And in my 11 years, I've watched your shit, your stupid shit, over and over pop up in my damn YouTube feed. And it's so stupid. I'm not even subscribed to you, and it go up everywhere. Then I look on fucking Facebook. It'll be an ad about fucking anal pills, and you'll see, well, that's bad. Subscribe to John Rare's page. You know, this motherfucker is every goddamn word. I've seen him on a fucking obituary for somebody. So sorry for your boss. But while you're grieving, check out John Rare's page on YouTube. 
Oh my God. Um, that's that's how I get my million views, people. Hello. <laughs> insane, dude. You're fucking stupid. Hey, how about this? We're not sitting around advertising, oh, I almost got hit by a fucking truck and I'm thankful to be alive. Shut up! The truck should have hit you a lot fucking harder. Well, you know what? Won't you, won't you let that, oh. that, that mouth right check your ass can't catch right now. That's what you're doing. So you, you really just need to chill because I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna really make something bad happen to you. And you won't be heard of it from again, I promise you. You'll never be heard from again. They'll say John who? Definitely need some kind of mash out of this, because this is fucking, yeah, crazy. (laughs) His anger has got the best of him, that's for sure. My anger? You're angry at the facts. The problem is, you can't accept and come to terms with facts. You still think you're that... Young boy that came up in the backyard and made the dream story to the pros and everything. You're you're not that no more. You're hey, not, did you see me on real TV before? You're a fucking ring announcer. That's it. That's all you are. You're a fucking announcer. You can't even hack it in the fucking ring. And I proved it. I proved that beyond a shadow of a doubt. You're a yeah. ring announcer. You're a bitch boy. You should be tearing the ring down and putting it up, and you should be taking chairs and all. But why don't you, why don't you wrestle me in the underground, huh? Well, I don't know what the fucking underground is. I'm new to IWA, but hey, what, what do you got in mind? My God, how are you, how are, how do you know, watch all my shit? Apparently, I'm obviously your fucking idol. You should have brushed what hair you got left before you came on here to talk to me. The underground is obviously what I just mentioned that happened in COVID during the IWA era that we did underground shows. It's an IWA fucking show. Go back to the fucking title match network where you can see all IWA Deep South footage and you can catch up to this shit. Oh, man. What you, wow. What you want to do this in the underground? Let's shed some blood. I ain't That's what I said. Blood. Let's do it in the underground. Barbed okay. wire, razor wire, fire. I'll, we'll throw some cocks in there because I know you're a Gamecock fan. What we throw some gusses in too. Well, why don't you call Kevin and have him do it? Sounds like well, sounds like you're new, you're his new bitch boy. God damn, man. My name's the tattooed rest of Brian White. Boo if you love it, bitch. What does he want me to boo? Well, well, well good. Somebody kicked him off. What an asshole. Um, that was crazy. Uh, yeah. So anyway, um, hopefully a match comes out of this whole thing because. It's intense, as everyone can see. Um, John, thank you for being on the show. Uh, I'm kind of shocked right now, so we're just going to end it as it is. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. You got anything else to say, brother? Nothing. I really wouldn't punt the dog because I like animals. (laughs) (laughs) There you go. And that's it for us for this week. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll uh, just leave it at that then. Good <laughs> energy, everybody. Thank you. Woo.